Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part 11 of the same topic. But we'll see in this one the objective type questions. So even if these are the objective type questions and the blank is given, like we cannot do it orally, we have to solve it. So this is whatever I have done with this one. This is the solve one and then I have written the answer over here. So if it is filling the blanks also, we cannot do it directly. But in some cases it can be. So it's better because the options are not been given. Only the blank is given. So this is from the same textbook. So 20% of rupees 700. So 20% means this is going to be 20 by whenever the percent sign is there, that should be divided by 100. Off means multiplication. And this is 700. So these two zeros get cut. So when you multiply this into this, that is going to be 140. So this is written here, rupees 140. The rate of interest is P is the principal is 200. The simple interest is 40. And time is 4 years is how much. So we want the rate of interest. So we have the formula here. The simple interest that is I is equal to P into R into T by 100. So it's given a simple interest is 40 means in place of this I you will write 40. 200 here. We don't know R. And 4 years means that is the time divided by 100. So these two zeros get cut. This 40 is here. This 2 will go in the denominator is equal to R. So it will be when you simplify this you get R is 5% that is per annum. So you can write it over here. 65% of 6500 is what? So 65% means you will write 65 by 100. Off means multiplication. This is 6500. So this and this gets cancelled. So this will be 4225. So it is here. In a city if there are 40% males, 35% females and the remaining are children. Dash part of the population are children. So we can write here from this males and females are there and the remaining are children because from 100%. So this will be 100 minus 40 plus 35. So this is going to be 100 minus this 75. So this is going to be 25%. 75% of number dash is 3. So 75% of uh, the number we can consider as x and is means is equal to and this is 3. So 75% means 75 divided by 100 into this will be x is 3. So here will be 25 threes are 25 fours are. So 3 by 4 x is 3. So x is going to be 3 into 4 by 3. So this will be this and this gets cancelled. X is 4. So here you can write of number 4 is 3. An item costing rupees 500 is sold at a profit of 20%. The selling price is how much? So the cost price is given as 500. Profit percentage is 20%. And we don't know the selling price. So we can write this. We can use this formula. Selling price is 1 plus. Because the profit percentage is given divided by 100. Multiply by cost price. So 1 plus this is 20 divided by 100. Cost price is 500 which is given. So this will be 120 divided by 100 into 500. So this and this gets cancelled. So this should be rupees 600. So this will be 600. 80% students in a class of 50 like to study maths. Dash students do not like to study maths. So total number of students is 50. So 80% now of in a class means we can say 80% 80, 80 that is of this total number that is 50. So 80% means 80 by 100 into this 50. So 50 ones are 50, 2 are 2 ones are 2, 40 are 40 students like to study maths. So now out of this 50, 40 like to study maths. So what will be remaining? That will be 10 students do not like to study maths. So 50 minus 10. So that is 10, plus 10 students do not like to study maths. 4 by 5 is written in percent as. So whenever there is, you have to write in percentage means that should be multiplied by 100. So 4 by 5 into 100. So this will be 20. This will be 80. 80%. 80 if by selling a tricycle for rupees 450, a shopkeeper gains 12.5%, then the cost price of the tricycle is. So the selling price is given as 450. Gain is here 12.5% and we don't know the cost price. 
So the selling price is 100 plus this gain percentage divided by 100 into this cost price. We can use this formula. So selling price is already given. Because we don't have directly, we don't have the formula where we can use the cost price and we can to find the cost price and then we can be the this given thing. So we have to see that because here the selling price is given, the gain percentage is given. So this is not given. This, this is only the unknown. So we have to use this formula. So here 450, 100 plus that is 12.5 percentage divided by 100 into cost price. So now this will go here. And this 100 plus 12.5 means 112.5 that will go in the denominator is cost price, which is on the same side. So now what will you do? If we are using the cal calculator, we can do it directly. If you are not using the calculator, so this numerator we can write as it is without a calculator. I'll show you this one, 112.5, 112.5. So this is after one number. So we will write here 112.1125 divided by one. We will put here one zero. So this is for this one. So now what will you do? This will get flip over. This is the denominator. This is the number that stays as it is. So 10 divided by 1125, that is cost price. So when you multiply this into this into this, so this will be that. And this will be 1125, that is cost price. So when you divide this one, so that is going to be 400, which is the cost price. Now you have 45% of rupees 820 this is a blank over here 82 percent of rupees 450 to 45 percent of rupees that's 820 so 45 by 100 this is 820 so this will be this and this goes off two fives are and two forty ones are so five ones are five nines are this when you multiply that will be 369 and when we write here 82 percent of 450 so 82 by 100 into 450 so when you when you simplify this one you get 369 both is 369 so you will put the sign is equal to here 90 percent of dash is 27 so 90 percent of dash we don't know we can put x is means is equal to 27 so this will be 90 by 100 of means multiplication x is 27 so this and this gets cut 9 by 10 into x is 27 so x will be this will go here 27 into 10 divided by 9 so 9 ones are 9 threes are so x is 30. if cost price is rupees 5000 selling price is 7500 and we want a profit percentage is how much so here the cost price is given and the selling price is given so from this one first what we can do we can find out because we can find out the profit percentage is given means definitely there is a profit so we can find out the profit because the two things are given so the formula for profit is selling price minus cost price that is 7500 minus 5000 that would be 2500 so now we can go for the they want a profit percentage so profit percentage is profit divided by cp into 100 so we know the profit now and now uh, again we know the cost price also so this works so this will be 2500 which is the profit given we got the profit here so the cost price is given as 5,000 in 200. So this and this gets cut, these two get cut. So five, ones are five twos are, or we can also write here five, 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 two, five, ten, and this one, five, five, are 25. Anyways, we can do, this will be 50. So profit percentage is 50. If P is equal to the P is uh, 3,500, R is 10% per annum and T is three years, then what is the amount? So amount is equal to the formula is principal plus interest. So here we know the principal, but we don't know the interest. So these both things, if it's not known, we cannot find out. First thing we have to do here, we know principal. So we will find out, try to find out interest. Because we know the principal, we know the rate and we know the time. So we can use the formula first I is equal to P into R into T by 100. So this is 3500 into 10 into 3 by 100 so this is going to be 35 into this will be 1050 so now we can use the formula a is equal to p plus i so that is 3500 plus 1050 that is 4550 that is the amount which is here now you have to simplify 3 by 5 plus 0 0.12 plus 6 percent of 25 so 
3 by 5 this is 0 0.12 plus 6 percent means 6 by 100 into of means and this is 25 so 3 by 5 plus 0 0.12 plus what it can do 25 ones are 25 fours are that will be 6 by 4 so now when you see here this our both the side there is plus so we will take the LCM of this so it should be 20 so this should be multiplied by 4 this also should be multiplied by 20 because 1 into 20 and this should be multiplied by 5 so this is what I have done so since this is multiplied by 4 this also should be multiplied by 4 20 20 5 and 5 so what will you get here 12 plus when you multiply this you will get 2.40 and this is 30 so this should be and divided by this 20 because this is the LCM so when you add this all that should be 44.40 divided by 20 so see here 44.40 divided by 20 22 is a 40 then again this and this one will take 4 down 22 is a 40 and we'll take here 22 is a 40 this uh, remainder is 0 so now after 2 is the decimal so here after 2 will be the decimal so 2.22 is the answer and they are said give answer in decimal so 2.22 so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.